All right, we've arrived in El Paso, Texas after a long flight and uh, I'm waiting for Senor Flores to swing by and pick me up. I think this is the guy right here. I don't know. <laughs> Hey man, I can get a ride. <laughs> All right, it's time to go hunt some flatheads. Get us a flathead. And the little muddy river, <laughs> famous muddy river. I feel like I'm in an episode of Breaking Bad. I'm waiting for Walter to come out with an RV. <laughs> we made it. This is the famous muddy river. This is it. This is it. A beautiful morning. Got the sun coming up. Chris is telling me that this used to be a big enclosed canopy and people have found the spot. So they've kind of taken away from the essence. You can see the fires are being built right here. And a cow patty. <laughs> Time to unload. Chris says this boat's gonna hold me. I don't know. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> All right, I trust you. <laughs> There's some sticks. That's a gateway. These are just gateway sticks. <laughs> That's how you get addicted to other sticks. Cleaning the sticks from the prop. Don't fall in, man. <laughs> There's no flatheads right there. <laughs> All right, we made it through. We're to this first spot now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm falling down. <laughs> All right, I need to sit my big butt down. But uh, we're here, we're gonna get some lines out. You got some nice fried chicken down there. I need to stop looking at chicken. That's why I'm almost falling out now. <laughs> got Flores over there cutting up some fresh gizzard chad. Right next to the Coke. Yeah. Hey, what kind of rods are we using today? <laughs> oh, I'm trying out these muddy river rods. Oh, okay. I heard they were okay. I heard lots of great reviews. So. <laughs> Figure I'd test them out. Mm. Got the flathead rod, two flathead rods, and two polar rods. Yeah. Those big Daiichi hooks. Looks like we're using a three way. Simple, simple setup. So check it out. This is the rig we're using. It's a real simple rig. It's a three way rig. And if you notice, there's no swivel on here. And there's a reason for that that I don't have a swivel is because average depth in this little stretch of river is about four foot deep. So it's uh, usually not deeper than the rod. And one of the cool tricks that I do is if I get hung up, it's not to break my line off. What I do is I'll just reel down and I can find my hook. I'll reel it into the eyelet and work it free, pop it up, and then my bait's off or hmm. my hook's unsnagged. That's really cool. And I can bring it up like that. Yeah. Little trick. Shallow water trick right there from yeah. the master. <laughs> 
All right, brother, you ready to cast out? Yeah, man, where, where'd I put it? So, across from, or right, right around that point is good, and then on the far bank, on the, along the tree line is a great spot. There you go. First one in, Let's see what happens there. All right, well you saw the bait we were using. Yeah, stay quiet. Flathead, come up and just give us a womp. Down in there to get Paula's fish. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Kevin already getting a bite. <laughs> I reel down on him when when I so I mean however you do it. No, you this is your river. You tell me what to yeah. do. Yeah, he's chewing on it. So two things: I either let them load the rod, or if they played with it long enough. Then I reel on him, and he's still there. You can try reeling on him if you want. No, nope. drop his leader right there. <clears throat> so these flatheads don't mouth the bait. It's weird. And I think what it is is they're used to like uh, they they like to stun that bait and then come back for it, and then spit it out and grab it, spit it out and grab it to position it to swallow it. You know. Hmm. So a lot of times they'll just have it in their lips, but they're not. They haven't, they haven't got it in the mouth. They don't get in a bite, guys. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. That's killed me. I'm not doing anything. You do what you're going to do, man. <laughs> I'm just watching. Oh, yeah. Oh, you dropped it. Oh, man, you dropped it. I dropped it. You dropped it. Oh. Hey, but you yanked it up the rod holder that time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then I'll make like a, an elbow. There we go. There goes that one again. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you saw what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I went too early on that one, but I was too experimenting. <laughs> I thought I had him. Come on, be the one. Going on that Paws Mint Rod. Mm -hmm.
You got to load it up. Really? No? No. It's a big turtle bite. Got turtles here? Yeah, there's some soft out here. Well, that was pretty... I pretty loaded up, but turtle. Turtles are easy to scratch at the mm -hmm. line. <laughs> oh dang, that might even a good one. That's a good spot. sitting here looking at the bank when the water rises they'll be up probably about a third way up on those cattails mm -hmm. all this all this will be gone mm -hmm. you see the cutouts in the bank right there those fish will be hanging out in those pockets back and you're gonna be like that river was alive <laughs> <laughs> you must have caught those flathead from somewhere else <laughs> oh yeah i see the cut out under that mud bank yeah there. all right we're gonna have to power through that oh Ooh, boy that's a lot <laughs> we created that i know right I gotten into <laughs> the muddy river workout.
right, so we're gonna call it quits today. As you can see, it's sunburnt. Uh, the temperature has messed with the fish this morning and the river's really low, which is why uh, this video will be called Muddy River Boot Camp. That's right. And we are, I'm sore. Chris is probably like, I can do it again, but. Right, we'll go back, man. Let's do I'm it. not used to all that. <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy fishing. Sorry, brother. I tried, man. <laughs> Chris, what are you doing? I gotta bring the motor in. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>